Hey, what's going on? Shane at Shane Hubbard Fit and the Simple 60 Challenge. Today, I am going to do a review of Built Bar Protein Bars. Now, full disclaimer, I am an affiliate of Built Bar, but my number one promise to you is that I will not let that create bias with reviewing this product. I'm gonna give you the pros, I'm gonna give you the cons, so that you can make the best decision on which protein bar that you wanna try out. If you do end up liking my review and you want to buy Built Bars, you can use my affiliate code to save some money. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into the review. So Built Bar claims to be the best tasting bar on the market, which I actually think is pretty competitive. Now you might be wondering what makes Built Bar different. So let's go ahead and look into that. So right now you're gonna see that I'm gonna put a chart up on the screen, and this is to show you sort of their comparison to other protein bars. Now this is something you can find on their own website. If you go to builtbar.com and you click Built Bars under products, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll be able to see this chart. So this isn't something that I made up. All right, first let's go ahead and start by talking about the calorie comparison. As you can see, Built Bar is the lowest amount of calories across all these different bars they're comparing to. Now, full transparency, not every single Built Bar is 130 calories. For example, this German chocolate bar is 180 calories. So when I bought my first Built Bar box, I got the mixed box to try all the different flavors. And one of the things I did is I went through and looked at all the different nutrition facts for all the different bars. And what I found was is not every single bar is 130 calories like the chart claims, but a lot of them are in the lower calorie range. The highest one that I saw was about 180 calories and the lowest one that I saw was about 130 calories. And the reason I'm telling you that is because not every single bar is gonna be 130 calories, which is what I thought when I saw this chart. You might have not thought that, but at least to me, I was thinking, okay, that's really cool. Every single bar is 130 calories. Not true. Now, I don't know if Built Bar is making that claim, but just based on the chart, it sure seems like that's something they're pushing. All right, next, let's talk about total fat per bar. So based on this chart, Built Bar is claiming that each bar only has 2.5 grams of fat, but there are plenty of other bars that have more than that amount of fat. Not to pick on German chocolate again, because I actually really like that flavor, but that has seven grams of fat per bar. So again, you have to be you know, mindful that not every single bar is gonna have these claims, and that some bars are gonna have more fat, and then some bars are gonna have the amount of fat per bar that they're claiming on their website. Next, let's talk about net carbohydrates. So net carbohydrates is largely a scam that lots of food companies will put out there to make their products seem low carb, okay? But if you look at Built Bars, they have 20 total grams of carbohydrates. So where do they get this four net carb number? Where do they even get net carbs? Net carbs is essentially subtracting things like sugar, alcohols, and fiber from the total amount to give you a net carb amount. Now, the reason why this is misleading is because fiber still has calories. It's a myth that fiber calories don't count. The reason why that myth started is because fiber calories are extracted the same way that regular calories are. So if I eat 100 calories, of sugar that's in the form of table sugar, I'm more than likely going to absorb every single gram of that sugar. With something that has fiber in it, I'm not going to necessarily absorb all of those calories because they're bound to fiber and my body can't access those calories. So while net carbs is sort of a thing, it's not something you wanna to get too wrapped up in. So don't pay too much attention to something like net carb claims. What's more important to pay attention to is total carbohydrates, total calories, and total fiber. All right, let's move down to total sugars. Most of the Built Bars have very limited added sugar, which is a very good thing, right? A lot of protein bars will make the claim that they're high in protein, but then sneak in a lot of added calories through added sugar. So I'm glad that they're being honest about how much you know, sugar they actually have. And I went through just about every single bar and at the most, I think there's like five grams of added sugar, which is really not that bad for a protein bar at all. All right, next is nuts. What's really cool about Built Bar is that they're very honest about which bars have nuts in them and which bars don't. So if you have a nut allergy of any kind, you can be sure that you're going to get a product that is free from any sort of nut contact or have any bars in them that have nuts if you buy the ones that are certified to not have those nuts in them. They definitely Definitely offer bars that have nuts in them, but they're very open and honest about which bars do and which bars don't. All right, next let's go to fiber. Now, as you'll see on this chart, Built Bar has six grams of fiber per bar, which is excellent. You might be wondering though, is it better to have more fiber? As you can see, Quest Bar has 13 grams of fiber. Here's why I don't think more is better in this situation. More fiber doesn't necessarily mean better health or better digestion. 
or feeling more full every single time, especially when that comes from an artificial form of fiber and not a whole food source of fiber. So I honestly believe that six to seven grams of fiber for a single serving of a protein bar is actually excellent. And it's just the right amount without overdoing it. I honestly believe that Quest overdoes it with their fiber. So I think that Built Bar absolutely nailed how much fiber to put in a bar. All right, last but certainly not least, because it's the main focal point of Built Bars is protein. They have 17 grams of protein per bar, which is competitive. Any bar that claims and actually has between 17 and like 23 grams of protein per bar is excellent. So this is a perfect amount of protein for a protein bar in my opinion. All right, let's go to the next two most important things, which are gonna be taste and texture. So I think that Built Bar have some of the best tasting protein bars on the market. The only company that I think compares or at least competes with them is Quest. Built Bar is in that same category. They have a lot of different flavors. They have a lot of fruit flavors and they have a lot of chocolate flavors. And they also have some unique flavors. For example, just last night, I had a carrot cake flavor, which I thought was really interesting. I didn't end up liking it because it tasted too artificial, but I just thought it was really cool that they even had that flavor. That being said though, if you're not sure which flavors you're gonna like, I would recommend buying a mixed box first, try all the flavors, don't buy the ones you don't like, and then reorder the ones you actually do like. So anyway, I think Built Bar's flavors and their taste is really, really good. All right, let's move on to our last point of the review, which is going to be texture. And this is probably the biggest difference between any other protein bar that I've had. Built Bars are actually pretty chewy, very similar to a candy bar. In fact, when I first started eating Built Bars, I thought they were too chewy. And that was because I was comparing them to all the other bars that I was eating, which were like eating bricks. As I got used to eating the Built Bars, I actually kind of liked the fact that they were softer. One thing that was really cool is I started adding it to my oatmeal, especially the chocolate flavors, and it melts perfectly. It adds the right amount of flavor. It adds kind of a unique kind of gooey texture, and it makes things like oatmeal taste really good. So if you're gonna add it to something like oatmeal, it's really, really good. If you're gonna eat it by itself, it might take a little bit of time to get used to the really gooey texture. Again, I don't think this is a problem. I'm just being honest with you with what the texture is like. You're probably used to protein bars that are a little bit more stiff, a little bit more solid. When you bite into this, it's very gooey. It's not runny and liquidy, but it's gooey and chewy. Hey, that kind of rhymed. One of the things I noticed when I was chewing Built Bar is that it kind of sticks to your teeth, which might not be something you like. I personally didn't really care, so it didn't bother me, but it's good to know ahead of time before you buy. All right, so that is my review of Built Bar. I would definitely recommend getting a box if this review uh, seemed interesting to you, if it sounds good to you. I definitely back Built Bar. Again, if you want to order Built Bar and you want to save some money and support me, use this code down below when you order and I'll hook you up with that discount. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you believe this was an honest and transparent review, let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video of Built Bar, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more product reviews as well as educational and entertaining videos here on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks a ton for watching today and I will see you in a future video.